Everyone knows what a flower is, but do you really know what a flower is? Let's botanize. A flower is a bisprangate strobilis. Let's break down what that means. Before we dive in, we need to know what the components of a flower are. A flower is composed of whorls of heavily modified leaves. This may sound surprising, but this is actually corroborated by the work of developmental biologists. In fact, many plant structures can actually be best described as heavily modified leaves, which is a theme that we'll keep coming back to in future videos. The outermost whorl on most flowers are the sepals. These are typically the most leaf-like structures on a flower. Inner to the sepals are typically the petals, and in most lineages, these are the showy and colorful structures that we are familiar with. The last two whorls are the reproductive structures, and defining what they are will help us understand what I meant when I said that a flower is a bisporangiate strobilis. First we have the stamens, which are the male reproductive parts that produce the pollen. Pollen is produced in a structure called the sporangium, which is housed in the anther. This is typically the yellow structure at the tip of the filament. Finally, we have the pistil, which includes the stigma, which receives the pollen, and the carpal, which houses the ovules. The carpal will eventually develop into a fruit, and the ovules will eventually develop into seeds. This is a slight simplification, but just like the pollen is produced in microsporangia in the anthers, the egg cells within the ovules are produced in megasporangia in the carpals. Because a complete flower has both mega and microsporangia, we call it bisporangiate. But what is a strobilis? Well, that's the easy part. A strobilis is any stem structure with whorls of leaves that are modified for reproduction. In that way, a flower is a bisporangiate strobilis. <laughs>